you're an architect. You, you look at things and, and you try to uh, rethink how healthcare does them today. So, um, you know, I sent you a list of a couple topics. We're going to start with security because security is foundational to everything. You came back to me and said, uh, you know, you'd like to talk about zero trust. Get, help give us a baseline. Help us to understand what zero trust is and we'll go from there. Yeah. So it's really, it's a really, I think it's a really exciting time to be, be in health. Every year is an exciting time to be in healthcare, really. <laughs> um, but, but what's really special about now is that what I've seen, and, and I saw this at the, at the Cleveland Clinic, right, where I served as the interim CTO last year, uh, where the CISO there, a uh, gentleman by the name of Vugar, he came over from Blue Cross Blue Shield, right? So we're seeing some CISOs come into healthcare from external fields. And they come in and they look at the state of the state and they're like, oh my goodness, what is going on here, right? We're, we're flat, we're wide open. Okay, from a from a from a network perspective, from an onboarding perspective, and there's a good reason why we got there. So, so they come in, and, and it's not just Bugar. There's a, like a bunch of other people that are that are in in the same in the same shoes. They have a lot of experience from different fields, and they come in and like, why haven't we embraced zero trust? So the first question was, what is zero trust? Never heard of it in healthcare. And so then you start doing some research, and this thing has existed since 2010, is when Forster coined it, right? And, and the basic, the premise is super simple. Never trust, always verify. End of story, right? You bring something on to the network and if it doesn't meet or exceed certain criteria, it's completely black hole. It's put away to the side where you can go do something with it. Now let's just think about that for a second, right? Without getting into the technologies of how that happens, the NACs, the micro segmentations, any of that stuff, let's just think about the impact on healthcare. So we have an environment which has things that are on the network. And then it has internet of things, and then it has internet of medical things. So these are things that are attached to other things which are attached to people, right? So you can't take and start black holing these things and then you're gonna impact patient care, you're gonna impact a whole bunch of stuff. So what's been the easiest over the last, you know, five, six years as these internet of things or internet of medical things have just exploded within healthcare is and, and I don't mean to offend anybody, I'm guilty of this as well, is the head in the sand approach, right? To say, look, we've had this a certain way for so long, let's just keep going and let's keep protecting the perimeter. If we protect the perimeter well enough, you know, we should be fine, right? And then there's all of this theory, which is all real. I mean, these are, these are actual studies, right? That show that your perimeter defense is pretty much not worth anything these days, right? If you talk to Wes Wright, right, from Improvada, great guy, good friend of mine, he'll tell you that the perimeter is you, right? The person, the individual is the perimeter. And, and that's really where we need to get to. Um, and so, so you start looking at this whole thing, it's like, okay, how do you bring this concept of zero trust, which has a, a, a capability maturity model that's way beyond anything that we have in healthcare organizations today? How do you bring this whole trust Never trust, always verify approach to healthcare. So that's where we kind of find ourselves.